particularly interested about is this external in here. Basically, as I'm looking at this signal flow, you can look external in goes to EQ, and then it can go to the modal, the object, and both objects. So like, you could sing into this. Today is a good day. Reason Studios announced they are going to be releasing a new synth called Object with a hard K, and this is going to be a modeling synthesizer. This really has me excited because basically I don't have that many modeling synthesizers. The main one I would use is Alchemy in Logic, so I'm really excited to get my hands on another kind of modeling synthesizer. I'm also really excited because I think Reason Studios has been knocking it out of the park with their synths the past years. I think everything they've done since Europa has just been a really a great synth, and so I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on these sounds. Probably all of these sounds. Which is water, wind, freaks, and prickles. Really good drum sounds. That's nice. So I don't know about you, but those sounds sound great. They sound unique, not like stuff I already have, which is really, you know, what you would want if they're going to be coming out with a player or a synth. Um, and I just think it's really a cool sounding. And if you're interested in taking your Reason tracks to the next level, I want to let you know that I've got a free Reason cheat sheet you can download at the link below. Grab that. It'll give you a quick rundown of all the major instruments in Reason so you can get up and running quickly. And I just think it's a really cool sounding synth that we're going to be getting to play with. Now let's actually look at its interface because there's some really cool stuff here. So the first thing you'll notice is this is actually a pretty interesting layout for a recent device. I haven't seen really anything that looks quite like this. Along the top, you've got the presets. If you notice, we've got like a tuning fork and an analyze thing, which leads me to believe that you can probably drop in samples to part of maybe the modal section. You can simulate two different objects here, and um, you can mix each individual one between input and the modal aspects. You've got, I, I'm going to believe these are individual gains, yeah, on these different, um, I'm going to assume, I really don't know, frequencies is what they're calling it, but I don't really know how that's going to affect it or what. Um, so that I truly know nothing about, that I am just baselessly speculating on. Um, and you can control the relative frequencies, you can turn whether they're on or not, and control whether they do keyboard tracking, and also their local tuning, or global tuning for each object, it seems like. Um, there are also templates to choose from, a low cut filter, and you can kind of choose when it triggers in the, I'm gonna assume it's kind of a sample type thing and the randomness of it. Um, here you have the whole exciter section, and if you've used uh, friction, this might look similar to you. I think probably that's what they're drawing on some of the technology from. That, um, And that's pretty much what this most reminds me of, is uh, friction. So you've got this whole exciter section here where there's a lot of velocity to level, velocity to hardness. You've got some diffusion options over here. You also have an exciter, which you, it looks like you can have a choice of different uh, sounds you can push into it, as well as an ADSR curve for it. Keep your eye on this, because I'm going to show you something really cool when we flip around the back of it. Um, you've got collision amounts, which I don't fully understand what that's going to do. I think I'll just have to play around with it. The pitch modulation, which can be really useful. Dispersion, which is how the sound plays out over time and you've got the ability to modulate um, it but it's interesting that the filter goes into the modulator uh, I'm gonna want to see how that works I would expect it to be the other way around um, but I guess that's maybe how long the dispersion goes it kind of can modify itself 
Um, you've got dampening, which I'm assuming isn't quite working like an EQ, even though it's got a low, mid, and high. Um, and then finally, you've got the decay with a uh, mute. You have a, the typical reason um, effects section here. I hopefully, like most of the other synths, you can drag them around and reorder them. You've also got the great mod matrix down here, which I love. Uh, and it's cool, you've got these two, like these built in LFOs and curves, it looks like you can draw, which is awesome. A couple of macro controls that you can probably map everything to, which is awesome. And I love that they've scaled this down. You don't need this to take up so much of the display. You've also got all the typical things like one shot stepped, bipolar, key sync, global beat sync, all that great stuff. Finally, um, up top, you've got this mixer, so you can mix in the modal sounds, the exciter sounds, uh, and the, vol the relative volumes of the objects, and just their pan and their width. Um, and then you've got this randomized thing, which I just, I'm gonna guess if it's like friction, it probably randomizes the settings of whatever you've selected. But let's go back to this back end. So you've got the modulation here. And then you've got the sequencer controls, which is kind of pretty typical, four CV inputs, which you can use the mod matrix to map to anything. But what I'm really interested about is this external in here. Basically, as I'm looking at this signal flow, you can look external in goes to EQ, and then it can go to the modal, the object, and both objects. So like, you could sing into this and create crazy textures, or you could resample all sorts of things. I think this is gonna, open up a whole world of creative potential so i'm happy to know what you think please leave your comments in the box below if you're interested in this object synth that's going to be coming out in early may hopefully um can't wait to start playing around with it once it does